the book deals with several of the most fundamental areas impacting mergers and acquisitions. Corporate law, securities law, antitrust law, tax law, accounting issues, valuation issues. It deals with them from a domestic standpoint and also an international or cross-border standpoint. It also addresses regulatory issues that arise in certain specific industries, including banking, bank law M&A, telecom M&A, utility M&A, airline M&A, and a separate chapter on healthcare M&A, which covers a broad range of healthcare issues such as hospital mergers, hospital acquisitions of phys physician practices, mergers of pharmaceutical companies, mergers of medical device companies, and the like. This book would be, for example, the, the starting point for, uh, and maybe the ending point, for a particular uh, question that an M&A lawyer, uh, particularly a deal lawyer, would have. Uh, but to the extent that there is a, a, a complicated and, and uh, uh, evolved, involved antitrust question, uh, while well, my book would provide sort of a guidepost to get, this, to get the, uh, the, the reader uh, a, a quick lay of the land, uh, it, it wouldn't, it's not going to foreclose the need to look further at, at, at other issues. Um, if you're coming into this country uh, and investing or acquiring a business in this country, um, one, you're going you're to be concerned about complying with uh, the corporate laws. Um, but, the, but the compliance with the, with the basic corporate laws is not going to be significantly different than compliance with the basic corporate laws where you have a domestic acquisition. But, but the foreign person is going to have to become familiar with, with corporate laws uh, for purposes of structuring the transaction and the like. Uh, they're also going to have to be concerned about uh, tax laws. And they may, very well may have to be concerned about the application of, of the antitrust laws. One area that is that, that I cover in the book fairly extensively is um, the requirements that, uh, that if a foreign person is making an acquisition of a U.S. company that gives rise to national security issues, then the transaction must be uh, vetted by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., CFIUS. From an outbound standpoint, it is, um, it's obvious that um, the, 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 U, the domestic advisor to the U.S. acquirer is going to have to become familiar with the laws of the jurisdiction where the target is located. And the target could be located in any number of jurisdictions. It deals with uh, tax aspects of mergers and acquisitions and with a range a discussion of a range of issues including taxable acquisitions, tax-free acquisitions, cross-border acquisitions, um, doing LBOs and similar transactions. So it's a full range of, of issues that the tax lawyer um, is, is likely to face in, uh, in structuring merger and acquisition transactions.